Can you hear me? Hi, Kelly. Thank you um, for doing these sessions. I get so much out of it and your guides are just beautiful. Um, so is this kind of, and this is maybe too personal, but I just wonder, like when you're in their energy and you're connecting with them, don't you just want to stay in that and, and not go back into reality? I mean, is it a hard transition? Because it's such a beautiful realm. And I, I feel like if I had your gift, I would want to just stay in that as much as I can and not be in reality as much. I mean, not saying that reality is bad and we're all here. We plan on being here. But when you get a taste of their energy and, and it's so beautiful, I, I think I would be trying just to be in that as much as I can. Okay, that is a wonderful question. Um, and there's a bunch of answers. Mm -hmm. One of the answers is we are in that energy all the time. We're in that energy anytime. Anytime you feel love, you are blended with your guides. When you feel joy, when you feel wonder, you are blended. That's what it is, that feeling of, you know, everyone says, what does it feel like? That's what it feels like. It's that looking at that sunset with your hand in the hand of somebody that you love and and feeling that connection and that awesomeness. That's what that connectedness feels like. So that said, I will also say that exactly what you have asked has been a huge part of my journey because, and it was from fear because I was afraid that it would be so wonderful that I wouldn't want to come back. And I can, you know, I record all of my stuff and I recommend to all of you who are on this journey, my Monday night people, I'll say this to them too. Um, record and write down stuff as you experience it so that you can go back because you might humanly filter some stuff, but you're going to get a nugget and they're going to drop another nugget and another nugget. You're going to read a bunch of things in a row and you're going to be like, oh shit, they're telling me to blah, blah, blah. And then you have that epiphany. And so when I go back and listen to things like, like from the summer when, when light language hit, when that, when that happened and my experiences got just so much more dramatic, I guess I'll use the word earth shattering is another good one, you know, wild and crazy comes to mind. When I would have these experiences and I would talk with my guides, I would say, I'm afraid. I would go into meditation and I would feel that drawing forth, which there's two different things that we're talking about. Blending with the all and going deep into an altered state of meditation. They're cousins, but they're not the same thing. When, you, when you're going deep, deep into a meditation and your consciousness is getting farther and farther away from your humanness, that's an experience. That's what I'm kind of like on the brink, on, brink of. The blending with my guides, you watch me. I can co come in and out of that in a in a second. There's no there's no any big anything to that. Well, you know, I mean, um, so what I'm trying to explain is that when I was when I do meditate, which I wouldn't be able to do with you, it would be by myself with music and headphones, with a, a face thing on, with a darkened room and going deep into an altered state, I was afraid that I wouldn't come back for exactly the reason that you said, Jerry. And that is when I channeled Mother Earth the first time. And when she came through, she said for me not to worry, but that I did need to work on my relationship with her, my connection to her, my solidity with her, I never understood it. My God, you guys, we've all heard the word. You're, you're not very grounded. I was like, well, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know what that means. What does it mean to not be grounded? I, 
I'm on the ground. I got feet. I mean, here I am. I didn't get it for a long, long, long time. And now I do. It's that, it's that cord from my heart to Mother Earth's heart that makes me feel that oneness. She, she told me that my relationship with that would always bring me back because my intention is to live out my life. I want to live out my life. I want to watch my grandbabies grow. I want to grow old with Michael. I want to have, I want to go fishing and ride my new snow sled and drink lots of cocktails. And I want to live, you know, I want to live. <laughs> so it is glorious, but so is life. And, and it, it has happened over time so that the underpinning was there that so I would have my clarity. Oh, did I answer that? I don't know if I did. You did. It is very, uh, very clear. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else? This is a good chance to chat, people. <laughs>